we're 90 minutes from kickoff and to look ahead to the game that we're about to see. Please, would you welcome, firstly, representing the Tigers, the man who scored that goal, and the club ambassador here at the stadium, it's Mr. Dean Windus. <laughs> And for our visitors, Leeds United, <clears throat> we have a man who played for his country 59 times, 42 of those games were as captain. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> it will be later when I've thought of some material. And then went on to manage Wales for five years, but before that, and the real reason is here, he played at Ellen Road for 10 years. Please, would you welcome Terry Yorath. Terry, the sun's come out for us. Welcome to Hull. How are you finding your experience so far? Well, it's unusual for the sun to come out when Leeds are playing, because usually it's cloudy, dark, and miserable. Okay, that didn't go down so well with the Leeds fans that we have in here. Let's, let's bring that back round, Terry. Um, it's, it's a funny old club at the moment. How, how often do you get to see Leeds United? Uh, every home game and some of the away games. But uh, it hasn't been enjoyable, I've got to say that. But we put a run together last month. We won three games on the trot. And uh, at the moment, uh, this will be our fourth game without getting beat. That's three games on the trot again. So it just, uh, it just tells you... It just tells you what a bad league it is. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. However, Terry does have a point there. Um, Leeds have done better of late than they have done for the most of the season, and it's not going to be an easy game this for us, is it? Well, not. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, when Leeds come to town, it's always a great atmosphere. Obviously, Yorkshire Derby. Um, listen, it's an important game for, for both teams, especially for Leeds United manager, because if he gets beat, he'll get sacked tomorrow. So, <laughs> Because you don't know what you're going to get, yeah. Really. That's all right, even the Leeds fans are laughing. You're okay, you're okay. No, I'm right, yeah. yeah. Um, no, listen, it's important for us. You know, I was at Steve's press conference yesterday. We have cemented ourselves in the playoffs. Yeah. You know, unless something drastically happens and we win out every game and Middlesbrough lose every game. So you've got to go into that sort of mentality of, of winning every game from now to the end of the season, getting to the, you know, as Steve said yesterday, the momentum to take you into the playoffs. You've got to be, in my experience, when we got to the playoffs, you've got to be third or fourth, because then you're playing away first. That's the advantage that you've got in the playoffs, playing away first, getting a result away from home in the semi-finals of the playoffs, and then see where it takes you from there. But today is a massive game, as you say. You can see the, you know, the people turning out. It's refreshing to see this, this lounge full. So hopefully, you know, it'll be a great game. Of course it'll be a great game, because it's against Leeds. So, um, I've invited Terry because I knew that he'd be biased against uh, Old City. So, um, no, listen, it'll be a great game and I think we'll win the game. So we've won two on the trot, um, not doing so bad ourselves. Uh, Leeds have come here with a, a healthy run. What can we expect from Leeds today, Terry? Uh, we'll definitely concede a goal. That's, good. That's a certainty. Uh, we haven't had a stable back four all season, so, you know, uh, between uh, Bellucci and Bamba, uh, they should be in the, <laughs> they should really be in the circus honestly you know they you, you never know what to expect from them you ne never know what they're going to do uh, but the certainty is they'll give a goal away so that's how one nil up at the moment when you say you see Leeds every week terry at home are you employed by the club <laughs> well i was <laughs> You've been asked Stuart there, he's a commercial guy, you know. <laughs> but I've got to say, they back me up. Um, you, when I'm talking before and after Leeds United games, uh, I try and tell the truth. And uh, the truth is, we've been <laughs> That means we're going to lose today, dude, doesn't it? How do you think Steve's going to set up? I don't really know, to be fair. I think that obviously he swapped in and changed it, and he trying to get the, the best sort of formula to win the game of football, and he said that yesterday. He puts the team out to, to win the next game. I'm sure that Jake might come back into it, he's given him a rest. I don't know about Guillaume, he give him a rest. Um, but they've got you know, a last minute winner at Reading in, in midweek. <clears throat> so I'm sure that he'll probably go with the same. I think he'll go 4 4 2 the same, with two centre forwards. Um, like Terry says, I hope he's, he's right, you know, that we do sort of find it very difficult to score goals. 
you know, when we get in front, we're all right. If we go behind, we, we struggle a little bit. So I'm hoping Terry's prediction is right with the two centre halves that we uh, But listen, it'll be a tough game. It always is against Leeds, as you say. They, they, you know, they, they, the house will be bouncing, you know, and that's the one thing about it. And that's what players love in the Yorkshire derbies. And let's hope that, you know, they met the most of it. And Leeds, of course, did used to be famous, and you were a part of that team in the 70s that did very well. What, what was it like being a player back then and, and, and being at the top of the table, which you were? What do you mean, we used to be famous? <laughs> Wayne Hall, mate, I'm allowed to say that. We're the biggest club in Yorkshire. We have the biggest crowds. We have the most loyal supporters in the country. They get right behind the team, whether we win, lose or draw. It's absolutely fantastic atmosphere at Ellen Road every week. Except when the game starts, then it goes down. <laughs> bit. And there was me. You could see the nods there. You just got your job back, and you've just bought it again. Yeah, well. <laughs> but uh, you know, going back to your question, uh, Leeds United over the years, and starting with uh, Don Revy, um, fantastic team to play in, a fantastic club to learn your trade at, and uh, unfortunately. You know, things have gone a bit downhill, you know, ever since uh, Howard Wilkinson uh, was manager, oh, after he left, sorry. And then we had um, Mr. Risdale come in, who spent everybody else's money. So that was the start of decline, really. And, you know, they got to the European, I think it's quarter-finals, and, right, yeah. and uh, you know, after that, everything went downhill quickly. So, obviously... It's all changed, of course, since your playing days, for the, for the better or for the worse? Well, the facilities at the club are much, much better, you know, training facilities, the, the ground itself, the lounges, the boxes, everything like that. Off the field, Leeds United is probably nearly perfect. On the field, well... <laughs> but you know you're going to win now that you've said all this. You're yeah. lulling all of us into a false sense of security. Honestly, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm being polite, but I do watch Channel 5. Dean, let's come to you for the all-important, famous rubbish score prediction. How do you think it's going to go today? Well, now Terry's just said that they'll concede. Yeah. I was going to go with it, this result anyway. So sure. I was going to go with a 3-1 3-1 win for us. Lovely. Terry, how do you think it's going to go? I'll say 2-1. Uh, I'm just saying two one. <laughs> Clever, genius, genius. For the time being, we'll get them back after the game. Please do give a warm round of applause, not only to Dean with us, our special guest today, Terry Young. Love it to see you, Terry. Thank you for being here today. Dean with us, Terry Young.